So these are the forces that will be taking part in the Battle of Tewkesbury, all forming up, getting ready to go onto the battlefield. A uh, brief overview of the Battle of Tewkesbury. After the Battle of Towton, Queen Margaret fled to France with her son Edward and lived there in exile. In 1470, the Earl of Warwick also fled from England and, with the help of King Louis of France, they plotted to invade England to put Henry back on the throne. Warwick sailed first and achieved his aim of re-establishing Henry as king, but was killed at the Battle of Barnet the following year. Unlucky. Margaret and Prince Edward left France and arrived in England at Weymouth on the very day that Warwick was killed at the Battle of Barnet and Edward was restored to the throne. They were met by Edmund Beaufort, the Duke of Somerset and Jasper Tudor, the Earl of Pembroke, who convinced them that they should stay and fight for the crown. Jasper Tudor went to Wales to gather troops. The Queen and the Duke of Somerset raised troops in the West Country. Margaret's army marched north hoping to meet Jasper Tudor in Gloucester but the city gates were shut against her. Didn't she have any spare keys? She then had no choice but to march on along the River Severn looking for somewhere to cross to meet up with Jasper Tudor. Meanwhile, King Edward's Yorkist army, hooray, had left Windsor and was getting closer and closer, marching through the Cotswolds and on towards Cheltenham. On the evening of May the 3rd, Margaret reached Tewkesbury. There was no time to go further because King Edward was so close. She and her army had to stop and they knew they would have to fight Edward's army. Edward's army had camped at Treddington that night, ready to march to Tewkesbury the next day to do battle. On the morning of Saturday the 4th of May, Lancastrians had set up their battle positions behind field hedges south of the Abbey, particularly a large field called Gaston. The Yorkist army arrived from Treddington and formed up on Stone Hills, where the commemorative statues now stand. Stone Hills is now a housing estate, a bit of useless information. King Edward commanded the main part of the Yorkist army. With Lord Hastings and Richard, Duke of Gloucester, the King's brother who later became King Richard III and whose body was found buried under a car park in Leicester, trivial information. Edward had also sent 200 mounted spearmen up to the hill in Tewkesbury Park. It was a deer park in those days. That's what I've read from history, I wasn't actually there. The Duke of Somerset had been given overall command of the Lancastrian army, with parts of it commanded by the Earl of Devon and Lord Wenlock with Prince Edward. Gloucester opened the battle, shooting arrows and firing cannon at Somerset, who then decided to attack. He did this by riding down some secret lanes and charging down a hill into the back of King Edward's part of the army. The attack failed, and Somerset's men were pushed back. They were then attacked by the 200 spearmen from the deer park. After this, the Lancastrians started to retreat, to retreat, run away, mm and the Yorkist army advanced. The retreat was blocked by rivers in which many men were drowned or they were trapped in bloody meadow. Prince Edward was killed in the fight and soldiers fled everywhere, including into the abbey. Later the leaders were put on trial. 17 men, including the Duke of Somerset, were found guilty of treason and beheaded in Church Street. Many of the dead, including Prince Edward, were buried in the abbey. That's Tewkesbury Abbey, by the way. His mother, Queen Margaret, was captured and held prison for several years. King Edward and his brothers made a triumphant entry into London on the 21st of May. He was now the undisputed King of England. Thank you. And now for some medieval music whilst you watch the rest of the film.
Cristo.